okay so we want to or we want to look at how to apply for achieving scholarship achieving scholarship is a prestigious scholarship in the uk where you can run your course your master's degree course in any uk uk university okay so in your browser you type chevening.org c-h-e-v-e-n-i-n-g dot org so it will take us there okay so here it is you can see it is boldly written there applications are open and you see apply today so looking at it you this evening scholarship is um um is a scholarship that is very popular very very popular so tap on this menu you can even tap on apply today and it will take you straight to this place so you can type in your country okay find a world in your country or territory so you type in your country or you click on it it will take you to a list of different countries now on to because i'm a nigerian so i'll choose nigeria then i tap on the search tap on search the search will give me all opportunities available under the evening give me all opportunities available for my country so the first one here we have evening scholarship which is already open since on the 12th of september and it will end on the 7th of november this year we also have the oxford center for islamic studies so since it is the evening scholarship i want to apply for i'll tap on it okay and a new page will be opened now on this new page you find um some guidelines you find some guidelines that will really help you to know how to um apply for this scholarship and the requirement so we have required documents it's good you read through all of these we have required documents you read through you open your the um link that is under under that required documents so it will guide you are right basically your passports will be needed your international passports and then you also need your education documents your references and you also will need your unconditional uk university offer that after you've applied for um a course in in, in a uk university and they have approved it and given you one uncondi unconditional uk university you will need it to fully be accepted into the scholarship all these are very very necessary okay you scroll down now remember if you are if you've applied to a uk university and you were conditionally selected hmm? it's essential that you are you submit those these documents in order to remain in the process and if the conditionally selection from that uk university is because of the tuition fees i think that will be accepted by chivney okay so you get your documents ready for the application 
then you like to go through all the selection updates timelines and no application guidelines all right so let's go down we'll scroll down all these are necessary details you need to know before you start your application now chimney scholarship covers your tuition fee your university tuition fees your monthly stipends every month you get some stipends to help you your living costs and then we have the travel costs from your country and back chimney will sponsor it then your arrival allowance when you finally arrive in uk you'll be given an allowance okay then that's the beginning of your course as you come to uk coming to uk your allowance your arrival allowance will be catered for then we also have your homeward departure allowance that's at the end of your course allowance will be giving you then your visa application just one so let's say even if you are you are taking someone else. Uh, Chivney will not cater for any visa application for any other person. So it's just you, just one. Then we also have travel grants to attend Chivney events in the UK. Should in case you have events, that you have to travel from one place to another and then you incur some costs. Chivney will also... Um, care for that then we have causes i'll do another video on how to choose make your your choice of courses and also the choice of uk universities i'll do a separate video for that we also have the eligibility it's good for you to read through um the eligibility then how to get your references the kind of references you chivney wants from you and these references are usually from your previous school where you did your first degree okay from your university probably your lecturers especially if you just finished recently but if you are no longer in school references will be required that you provide from your employer so it's one of the requirements now let's talk about this work experience work experience is one part aspect of chivney application that has always set people back and pe many people have been dropped because of this work experience so i would really like to go into this work experience to really explain what chivney requires okay so i will tap on this work experience then as it opens you see you read through now chivney accepts different types of work experience if you are just if, if you are full-time employment worker chivney accepts that if you are a part-time employment worker it's fine by chivney if it is a voluntary work, fine. If it is paid or unpaid internships, it's also accepted. And this can be before, during, or after your graduation. So that means your work experience before you even started your undergraduate course, your university course in your home country will be accepted if you did it during your course fine if you also did it after you graduated fine chivney will accept it but there is there's a requirement for this okay now if you've gotten small small jobs and um you want to calculate them you can gather the hours you have worked for each of these jobs to make sure that they meet the allotted hours of time that chivney wants you to achieve before you apply for this job and that will take us to how to calculate your work 
experience please pay attention to this because this part particular aspect has made many people to be rejected in the chivening application so pay special attention to this now look at how to calculate your work experience now chivening accepts working week that comprises 35 to 60 hours in a week while 40 to 50 weeks in a year so any job you want to use or you're using for your application ensure that it falls within the range of 35 to 60 hours a week and working year of 40 to 50 weeks you see any calculation you do that falls within 35 to 60 hours a week will automatically fall also within the range of 40 to 50 weeks in a year don't forget that so let me take an example let's say i am a full-time i mean full-time employment or a job okay and i work from mondays to fridays every week and i start working from 7 a.m to 2 p.m i'm just using an example 7 a.m to 2 p.m so if you calculate 7 a.m to 2 p.m that will give us seven hours from 7 a.m so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 p.m., then 1 and 2. So that will give us a total of 7 hours every working day for me. Okay. Now, how many days do I work these 7 hours in a week? I'm working from Monday to Fridays. So what I do is, since it is five days of the week, Monday to Friday is five days of the week, I will calculate that seven hours, which is 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I'll calculate seven times five. And seven times five will give me 35 hours in a week. You can see that that 35 falls within the range of 35 to 60. It might be more. But one thing you should be sure of is ensure that it does not exceed your weekly working hours should not exceed 60 hours. It should not exceed 60 hours. Now you can get this number of hours from your full-time employment. Okay. You can also get it from your part-time employment. You can get it from voluntary work, short, short jobs you've done. You can calculate them, keep calculating, even if it was not under only one employer. You can just calculate the number of hours. But just ensure that the weekly hours does not exceed 35 to 60 hours. Because if it is shorter than that, your application will be rejected i'm taking my time to explain this because this has always been a major problem why many people have been rejected if it is less than 35 hours you will not be accepted if it is more than 60 hours it will also not be accepted so ensure that it is within this range of 35 to 60 working hours every week okay so this is very very important and that's why i'm taking my time to explain this and then when you calculate this five five days like five five days for me and i should calculate how many times i work in the year or each month you see that everything will amount to within the range of 40 to 50 weeks every year that means within every year i go to work 40 to 50 weeks in the year okay 
Now, anything that exceeds the upper limit for full-time employment will not be accepted. So if your hours exceed that 60 hours, it will not be accepted. So before you start applying, ensure that you make these calculations so that you will not make mistake. Okay? Now, the minimum um, of the scholarship is you must have worked for like two years. Okay? Now, if you are doing part-time jobs, maybe from different, different employers, hmm? if you are doing part-time job, okay, from employers, you can just, different, different employers, you can just accumulate them, count all of them together until when they will reach within this range of working hours, okay? So this is very, very, very important. As you go through, you can read all of this so that you'll be well grounded and well prepared. So that's all about the work experience. This is the first part of my video, of my podcast. I will do more. I will continue from where I stop. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Also tap on the notification bell so that when I drop a new video, you'll be alerted. Okay? So don't fail to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.